cabinet meeting, obviously. Mm -hmm. Can you just give us a brief overview of how that was? Um, I look, I can speak to you in, in generalities, but it was really a welcome meeting. It was a meeting um, about what the tasks are at hand, uh, that we have to come together, we have to work as a team. Uh, and it was really about the importance of service, of having pride in what we do, and that we're here working for the people. It's not a full cabinet at this point, right? Not no, and it, really it's a, it's a misnomer to call it a cabinet meeting. What today was, was an initial um, staff meeting of the, the individuals who are now coming in uh, with the governor um, as part of his team. So, you know, part of the, the issue for us was um, just getting everybody together on day one. You know, we did want to work today. We thought it was important to be here and to say, yeah, you know, we have started. January 1 means something to us. It means there's a transition, but it means we're going to work. How was the transition? In, I mean, did, was it smooth in terms of turning everything over? Did, was there anything, I don't know, that you were, that wasn't expected from the Patterson administration? No, I mean, look, I, I am now, I occupied a, an interesting spot because there were really two transitions. Right. right. We were leaving the Attorney General's office. We were coming in to the Governor's office. And I think on both sides of that transition, things were went remarkably smooth. There was a level of professionalism. Um, you know, I think the core people who make up the state government, the executive chamber, and the AG's office are professionals. And a lot of them have been here for many years. A lot of them expect to be working in these positions for many years, and they approach it that way, which is, you know, this is not about who's in and who's out. This is about how do you get the job done. Well, but it is about who's in. I mean, to a certain degree, you're going to set the tone in government by changing the, face of the, the faces of government, the players who are here. Th that's true, but when you ask about how is the transition... <laughs> the so no missing keyboard uh, typing. No, you know, it's funny because you always hear those stories. I remember when, uh, when I guess it was... President Bush came in, how the W's were missing. I remember that was the, the right. big story. You know, I've seen none of that. I've now gone in to the Attorney General's office, taking over from then Attorney General Spitzer. I've worked with the, uh, the now Attorney General Schneiderman team in coming in. And there has been, you know, nothing but a high degree of professionalism. I think it you know, really speaks to the quality of the people who make up the organizations day in, day out who are the ones who are going to be there no matter who is the name at the top. Have you figured out what roles you're going to play? For example, what role will you have vis-a-vis -vis Ben Lofsky, vis-a-vis Drew Zambelli? We're, 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 we are working through all of that um, and happy to talk to you about it at a later time. <laughs> are you going to be testifying at various hearings as you have been in the past? Um, when asked and when appropriate, I am uh, not shy about talking. <laughs> case, case in point. Exactly. <laughs> well, you exactly. do a good job. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, uh, I hope that proves to be true. Any time off at all, or you hit the ground running, I understand to set a tone for the first year, obviously, but... You know, it's not... It, part of it is a tone. And it's funny, because I am not uh, a creature of state government. i um, been here four years, but I am not somebody who, for my professional life, day in, day out, have been a state employee. The reality is you look at this timetable, right? I used to try cases as a federal prosecutor. If the trial started on February 1st, and I looked at the calendar and said, how much work do I need to do to be prepared for the trial? I didn't really think in terms of what day is Saturday and what day is Sunday, what day is a holiday. I thought in terms of, okay, February 1st, I need to give an opening statement. What do I need to do to be prepared at that moment to open? And everything that's entailed in it. This, in a way, is no different. There are all sorts of things that have to occur. There is a state of the state coming up. There is a budget that is due. When you begin looking at what has to be done and how much time do you need to do it, the answer has to be, let's get to work. But does the verdict come on April 1st? No. <laughs> no. Do you help write the governor's speeches? The, the, the governor um, is a man of his own words. Hasn't the governor suggested that the verdict kind of does come on April 1st, though? I, I think today is not a day for metaphors other than <laughs> the one that says we are getting to work. I'm going to run, but I look forward <laughs> to speaking. You start with that one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks, Steve.